Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah and a very good morning to all of you. Hope you're doing fine. This is teacher for you, Azizin Ahmad. And uh, today we are going to solve the exercises from your science reading and writing workbook, page number 148 and 149. Hope you completed your page number 146 and 147 and also the homework you have which I have given you for the critical thinking question number 15 from page number 147. If you have not completed your earlier pages, please try to complete it as soon as possible. And today we are going to start from page number 148 from your workbook. So this is for the chapter 7 and lesson 2, the water cycle. Here we go with the page number 148. Here we have the options in the box at the top of the page. And the question for is match the correct word with its description as we have done for the earlier lessons. We're going to the question number one. We need to just select the right choice. We just need to Select the right choice from the box A, B, C, D is just the letter is enough. The first question reads, this is the condition that causes a liquid to change into a solid. A liquid like the liquid water is changing to a solid ice. So water changing to solid ice, this condition is called freezing. So the condition where the liquid changes to solid, this, co this is called freezing. The answer for the question number one is C. Question number two. This is the ongoing movement of water through many different processes and states. We all know this is water cycle. During water cycle, the water moves from the earth surface to the atmosphere and there are many different processes going on. First, there is a process of evaporation, then condensation, then precipitation. So all these processes they form water cycle. So answer number two is water cycle. You just write the option here, H. Option is H here. Number three, these are small drops of rain that freeze in the air before they hit the ground. These are the small drops of rain that freeze in the air. So this answer is sleet. We all know the sleet, it starts like water, like rain. The, the precipitation, it's, it begins with the liquid state of water, but due to the cool temperatures on the way, it becomes solidified, it freezes. So the raindrops of that, that freeze in the air before they hit the ground, this type of precipitation is sleet. The answer number three is F, sleet. Answer number four, this is a process where a liquid becomes gas. We all know the liquid water is becoming gas like water vapor when it is heated up by the sun. So this is called evaporation. The answer number four is evaporation. Going to number five. There are ice, these are ice crystals that form in clouds and fall to the ground. These are ice crystals that form in the clouds and fall to the ground. The answer for this is snow. Snow, it falls to the ground as the ice crystals. So, answer for 5 is G, snow. Number 6, this is water that falls from clouds to earth. We all know the precipitation in the state of liquid water is called precipitation. This is the precipitation. This is the water that falls from clouds to earth. It can be liquid water, liquid snow, uh, sorry, solid snow or it can be hail or sleet. So this can be either of these types of uh, precipitation, but the process of water coming back to the earth is called precipitation. The answer number six is E, precipitation. Answer number seven. This is the gas form of water. We all know that. This is water vapor. The gas form of water is water vapor. Answer for number eight. This is the process of a gas becoming a liquid. Now we, we know the water vapor in the, in the state of gaseous liquid, the gaseous form of liquid. This is 
going in the air and there it is condensing. The gas state of water is condensing to liquid and this is called condensation. So the answer number 8 is A. Number 9, this is the process of a solid becoming liquid. A solid becoming a liquid, this is the process of melting. We know the answer for number 9 is melting. The option is D there. So this is the process where you see the ice, it's melting to water. Then this is called melting. Going to number page number 149, we have options in the box at the top of the page. And this is fill in the blanks. You have to choose the right option from the box at the top. This is a paragraph from your science book. So we'll just go with it now. Water moves from the earth to the atmosphere and back again. This path is called dash. It is called the water cycle. The answer number for the first blank is water cycle. So the water changes to a gas or dash. This, this changing of water, liquid water to gas is called, this is also a process of evaporation. So here the answer is evaporates. The water, it changes to a gas or evaporates from the surface of the oceans, lakes and other places. So water dash rises. So water vapor rises. Answer number for the third blank is vapor. Water vapor rises into the air and cools. Then it condenses onto tiny particles of dust and forms and forms cloud. So the answer for this number five is cloud. The next paragraph, there are three main types of clouds, puffy white clouds are, are called dash, we are, these are called cumulus clouds. So puffy white clouds like cotton balls are called cumulus clouds. Next, low layered clouds are called dash clouds, the layered clouds are stratus clouds. Next, the answer for the, uh, for the previous so blank was stratus. Now next, wispy clouds high in the sky are called dash clouds. Wispy, the thin clouds. They are cirrus clouds. The answer is cirrus clouds. Eventually, the water in clouds fall back to earth as dash. The water falls back to earth as precipitation. So the answer is precipitation. The different types of precipitation include rain, snow, sleet and hail. We all learned this during our earlier session. So hope you understood all these answers. Then we are going to the question and answer session which we usually do in your classwork, in your classwork, home, uh, classwork science copy. So but now it's a homework for you. Just try to learn these questions. First, we'll see how, how much we understood the uh, lesson. We'll go for the, this, for, we'll go to the question number one here. What are the different processes involved in water cycle? Water, what are the different processes involved in water cycle? The answer for this, evaporation, condensation, and precipitation make a water cycle. There are, there are three processes involved in water cycle. Evaporation, condensation and precipitation. So these three make a water cycle. Question number two, name the three main types of clouds. Answer, cirrus clouds, cumulus clouds and stratus clouds. We all have learned all this just now. Cirrus clouds are thin, wispy clouds, cumulus, cumulus clouds, they are like uh, cotton balls, white puffy clouds and stratus clouds, they are in the form of layers. So there are three types of main types of clouds. You have homework here. 
So the first thing what we have done here 148 and 149 pages you have to complete your workbook but before completing please learn the answers from here what we have discussed just go through the answers from this video and then solve your workbook without seeing try to try to uh, complete your page numbers 148 and 149 your workbook without seeing so that you will be perfect in this uh, uh, in these answers and there is a, there is another work for you the homework you need to complete your classwork copies by writing these two questions and answers in it so just name the lesson the, uh, the chapter number 7 and lesson number 2 the water cycle give this heading on uh, your uh, copy book and then write question and answers that then you can go to, uh, to the first question question number one then answer then again uh, leave a gap and then write the second question and answer so, so please complete your workbook pages and also you try to complete your science class for copy book with these questions and answers hope you understood this session and uh, inshallah we'll learn the next lesson in up in our next uh, session <coughs> thank you